Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Bedroom Style Reviews. My name's Dan and this is my review of the Panana bed frame. So just to give you a bit of background here, I've been sleeping on this bed frame now for a few weeks and so far it's not collapsed. So <laughs> I'm just going to be sharing with you my experience of uh, setting up this bed frame and using it and helping you to understand if this is the right bed frame for you and if it's possibly one of the best bed frames that you can buy in the UK for under £80. So this is just a quick summary really and if you want to see the proper full review then click the link in the description below and you can see all the specifications, you can see the pricing and you can see the visual setup instructions with photographs which might help you if you're struggling to put this bed frame together. So I bought this bed frame a few weeks ago, I'm using it in conjunction with my Argos mattress, I've got another video review that covers that elsewhere and it so far hasn't collapsed so that's good um, and I've got limited DIY skills and I do struggle to follow instructions sometimes so it's all it's all been you know really good so far so it arrives at my doorstep in a long two meter box um, I'm about I'd say average strength I was able to pick it up and carry it up the stairs it was a bit awkward trying to get it round the door frame so I would recommend that you do have someone to help you to avoid injury so I opened the box up with a Stanley knife and I was basically just confronted with a giant pile of firewood so I was like I didn't realize there's gonna be so many bits to it because uh, it's a double bed frame so it's obviously bigger than a single and there's more bits. So what I did is I looked at the instructions first of all and everything was labelled with numbers, looked pretty clear and then I looked at the pieces of wood themselves and I discovered that while some of the pieces of wood had like red ink uh, on them for the numbers, a lot of it was smudged and some were missing so I was just looking at the pile of wood thinking you know now what? <laughs> so what I did is I just separated them into you know, logical pile side for the headboard here, the slats and the beams across the top, same for the footboard, same for the base and then the legs. And it kind of gave me a visual idea of what I was dealing with. And then I looked at the instructions to find out which screws go where. And that's where things got a bit tricky. So down here where the joints are, there's like on the inside, there's like a little eyelet hole where you have to screw in the eyelet and then you put the end screws in and then the end screws bite into the eyelet. Now I didn't realise this, I was just putting the end screws in thinking that it should bite into the wood and I couldn't understand why I was doing it. So I was thinking, well, it's either my fault or they've got it wrong. So I just picked up a hammer and just started hitting the screws in and managed to split one of the, uh, one of the legs doing that and then eventually I figured out what I was doing wrong. So that's probably the main thing that I'd look out for when you're assembling this bed, make sure you put the eyelets in so that you can screw them in and also don't get the pegs, the wooden pegs mixed up with where the screws are supposed to go because uh, just where the centre beam is I actually put a wooden peg into where the screw is supposed to go and I just hit it in with a hammer and afterwards I realised that it should have been a screw and the uh, the peg was stuck so I pulled one of them out with the pliers but the other one wouldn't come out so it's it's a bit weak on the on the mid on the mid beam um, but Eventually, after a while, and I just struggle through, and three hours later, I had a bed frame that, whilst not perfectly assembled, it is, you know, solid and surprisingly, um, you know, very good quality for the price. So, just to summarise, really, a few of the pros, I would say it is strong, it is sturdy, and relative to the price, it is actually very good quality. Uh, also, I do like the white. The white, it does look um, like it could go well in a children's bedroom. It doesn't really match the, the flowery decor behind me, which is honestly not my preference, to be fair. But it does kind of go with you know, a wide range of things. So, uh, on the decor front, gets a thumbs up as well. So, a couple of cons, and the main one is just uh, the clarity of the instructions regards to the pieces of wood and the numbering and just putting them all together maybe i just got a bad um a bad product where it wasn't labeled properly you might buy yours and it might be well you know marked and it might be easy to put together i would say that if you're like me and you're a bit impatient don't just start hitting things with hammers yeah actually look at the instructions and try and figure it out it's not it's not rocket science it's a flat pack bed uh, but it does need a bit of care, you know, just to make sure you're doing the things right. So in conclusion, I would say that based on the other bed frames that I investigated and the one here that I've put together, I'd say that Panana Bed is actually uh, potentially one of the best bed frames that you can buy in the UK for under £80, simply because it balances price with quality. So like I said, if you want to check out the full review, 
click the link in the description below and you can see the full pricing, the full specs and the visual walkthrough which will show you how to put this bed together. Um, otherwise, if you want to check out the next video, that is for the Argos home mattress which I'm using in conjunction with the bed frame.